I it was during Pride Month. It's like so cute. And it's only 4K and he have a spread I did with emotes. Well wow. it's sketchbook 22. It took literally almost a year at this point and it's so thick and I I'm basically done. So let's make the tour. What is up my loves? Today Oh my god, the whole thing just shaking. We have a sketchbook tour 2020 the 22 sketchbook tour that I have not done in for like years. I've been going back and forth with three sketchbooks right now, that's why I wasn't staying focused on the sketchbook, that's why I can't finish it as quick. But the whole point of doing the sketchbook was to just draw and just use the sketchbook as a purpose. It's so thick that I'm now regretting the fact that when I made the sketchbook and I sued it, I was like, I thought there was not enough paper, it's too less, so I keep proceeding to put and add more and more and more and more paper and now I just realized that oh my gosh, you, that it's already so thick and I still have like a little like small like five pages left that I have not completed but I'm done and I'm gonna probably update you when I do fill in the sketchbook so for now I'm just gonna get into it and just show you those what I've done so far because I've actually finished this whole sketchbook it just has like this blended like 10 pages that I'm not done with and like I said before, as much as I would like to put in the link below what sketchbook I use, I just took cardboard, paper, printed paper, and sewed them on, and then I can make a tutorial for that if any of you don't want me to show you how I did that, and I just didn't even want a sketchbook. Anyone can do it. There's like a lot of tutorials on YouTube too who showed how to make your own sketchbook. So yeah, that's really not a link I can show you to what sketchbook is this, because I made it. Anyway. Let's get started to look at the sketchbook. I just want to say that for some reason, this has to be like one of my most favorite sketchbook back and like front covers. They were like so fun. I keep adding more and more stickers, and I feel like it's so piled up. I almost feel like the eyeballs and the moving shaking stickers. And this was like a. It was from a can that my. <laughs> see if you can add it. Pardon me. Anyway. I got. It was like a. It was like a. It was a dream. It was a cool thing, I think. Anyway, I'm going to start. Oh, and yes, I specifically had to get my ass up, so I had to dress my ass up before I could actually have the motivation to make this sketchbook tour. Because I just realized I haven't posted this year, like at all, and I seem like I'm dead, which I am not. So, here is the awaited sketchbook tour. I feel like I have this for way too long. It's early 2024, and it is like. It was on August. August 26th is when I started it. Oh my god. So this is like what I wanted to do. Anyway, if this thing is shaking, it's because I have the camera attached to the table. Anyway, it's 2024 and I'm finally getting to it. So this is the first page. I think to, you shouldn't give yourself so much stress on like the first pages because this is my first page. It's just a sketch and highlighters which is like the whole point is to have fun in the sketchbook for me at least and I have like another sketchbook where I have this autonomy and things so initially it's just my one of my OC saying welcome to the sketchbook there's some fun thing oh this one's really nice but like you gotta like flip your screen to see exactly what it is it's basically a long huge picture of like a art base on Pinterest of like you know the character you like or like person and you just draw them I draw Fushi Girl from just guys, and I did a lot of fan arts in here, which I'm proud of, because I always draw OCs like so much to the point that I feel like I never draw fan arts because I draw too much OCs. This is my um, also another OC. I'm going to make more OC videos so that you guys know exactly what I'm going to uh, like who my OCs are. Also, there's this thing that I do. Every time I finish like a pan, I just like take out the stickers behind it and then put it down because. Sticker and I feel like it's a waste just to do it like that. It was just how much like ink I use over the time. I feel like this sketchbook is going to be so long, so I might make it half and another half because I think it'll be too long. Anyway, I put the ink, the well, well how many pens I finished. So I'll try to put and see how much ink I actually use, which is a lot. These are washi tapes my brother got for me, and these are highlighters my and more washi tapes my. And then we have this one spread. I think you loves if you've been watching my sketchbook by now, you know that I put every single washi tape and color and like just overall things that I will use like highlighters as like a test sample page. 
And here we have a temporary tattoo that my sister got for me, and I just put those on behind that. I keep cards also for a gift that my um, sister got for me. It's just so fun sticking in like the most randomest thing in a sketchbook. <laughs> I think that's the whole point. There's like no rule how you should teach a sketchbook. And it's meant for you specifically what you want to use it for. It was Dodd Barrett's birthday. This art is so long ago. I have like so many new arts now. And I've been doing a lot of visuals of art, so I don't know what I'm gonna do that. Like, I can't give it like a tool of like You've also already seen this pretty much, just move on. Ever since I got this my sticker stickers, I'm addicted. Like I love this my stickers, but I finally got my hands on them when I bought it. And now I will forever just be using them and stamping them everywhere I got. And then this is me. This is just me talking about how I started this sketchbook without ink. It was during Pride Month when I was doing this sketchbook, which is why this sketchbook in initially had so much pride flag and looks colorful to begin with. Like the jewels here, like the color, it's kind of like giving trans black color. So that was like the whole point. It was to make it really, really like fun things where I just brought a lot, a lot of like, you know, pride stuff. Anyway, this is like my persona with, you know. Oh, and this is like my sister gave us on Halloween. Oh my God, so many things happen. This is more sketches. I did a collab with Miniko. They always are so fun to like talk to and like do collabs with. But um, she drew my OC and I drew hers. And we did like a Barbie team kind of spread. I'm not sure if you can see the whole sketchbook. Oh my god, it's like so thick. At what cost? Like, why did this turn off? I feel like I'm going to miss this sketchbook even though I'm like currently wanting to get over it as soon as possible. I've been it so long and I feel like 2024 should have a new sketchbook. But I'm still gonna use all the empty pages. I'm not gonna waste them. I'm gonna use all of them. But I'm not gonna show it, I guess, by my mind. Okay. Some stuff here. I I think I'm gonna do an intro, like the warnings, because I forgot to put the warnings. There's like some minor stuff inside here. Let's put the warnings. And this is like a full spread of me just wanting to use highlighters, because then I got like new highlighters and I was obsessed with it. Because I love highlighters. More um, pages. Let me know if you want me to teach you loafs. How to make a huge, like a thicker sketchbook. So I don't really do tutorials and I don't really plan to because I don't know how to. But I'd love to actually show you those, um, maybe how to make it thicker because I've been getting that question a lot, like how I make it more thick. And then this was like this one time when I scrolled my comments and there was just like one loaf, like my subscriber who was like asking if I was alright. I was not posting during the time because I had, I forgot, I had like, I think I had work or something. But it was so sweet, so I just redrew that. I don't know who the username was now. Just the collab video that me to draw my OC off. Oh, and then it was my art visuals um birthday. It was Boulder birthday. It was um Bram Bramble. It was so fun. It was it was her birthday. So I drew them. And it was also Miko's birthday. It was like so bad the art, but like they both appreciated it for some reason. Um more highlighted art, this is where she grew more OCs. If I don't mention their name, most of the time it's their OCs. And I love this spread. Um, my mom did this, so I stick it in here, it's Kojo. And this is she grew up because as you can see just Kaisan, if it's not obvious from the beginning of time with all the sticks in the front. I we keep on drawing OCs, so when I do not draw OCs, I draw just Kaisan or one piece. Or literally any of like manga's diary. Anyway, this is my favorite because I like how I use a lot of the highlighters in here. This is like really good. Oh, Nanami! It's like one of my most favorite character in this case. And I I fucked up on his eye color. It was supposed to be brown for some reason. I don't know why I used green and how this entire page is ruined because of that. But overall, I like how he looks in here. Which is like the whole point. It was fun to do him. Oh, and then this is like a jewel. The colors that I was supposed to use as a template so keep me drawing use the same colors on the markers, but I didn't write the numbers, so now I don't know. And oh, this is Hiromi. I think there's a paper before this. I really like how this turned out too. Like mostly just sketches. Like this is the point of let's like normalize just sketching because it's a sketchbook point. Here you go. Boom. Sukuna. This is also one of my favorite characters on this case. Huh? Love this case friend right here. I think I was supposed to draw Nanami on here, but never got to. Oh, okay, this is really fun. My little brother drew this, and then my sister drew this, and then we did like a little, like a fun drawing thing where we all described the characters. 
that we don't know from a different fandom and try drawing them. So my little brother draw Ash's kid and my sister draw uh, what's his name? What is fucking name? Um A Crocodile? Anyway, UG2. And then my little brother randomly gave me his <laughs> lyrics to the song. It was so fun. Oh okay, more more OC related things. Also, like, I just want to say something, most stuff in here that look like event art is not, it's just most of arts what I draw. And this is when we hit 4k loafs. We are at now 4.5, 4, 5, 5k, which is like double the digit, and it was so, so nice to have all of you loafs here, but like, I fucked up on the skin color here, but it's still amazing. Oh, right, you know the song, the Laufi, I don't know if it's like everybody's falling in love and I'm falling behind. So that that song, <laughs> I really liked it. It gave me like arrow vibes, so I do that. And more of that same game where we describe the character and then they drew it. More of what my brothers and sisters did with me. It was so fun. It's Naruto, and I did not do this by the way. My little brother did. All this is from the game we did. And this was like for one of the chapter in One Piece, which I'm not going to spoil, and it's not much of a spoiler anyway. It's like this, like Sanji has like this major breakdown. <laughs> and I, I thought I should probably draw it because the art in that looked really good. Anyway, I read your Sanji because I wanted to draw a lot of more One Piece fan art since I uh, usually don't get the time to because I usually do a lot of OC things. Um, CD that broke down on me and no longer worked. It was like a guitar CD where it like kind of had like tutorials, I think, or music. I forgot. But it was like a really old one, why is the hair? Random Doodle And this is more of my OCs I feel like this like, was one of my favorite page it's, it's Sukuna and I posted it on my Instagram too This is like a fan version of Sukuna Oh, okay For some reason it's so fun drawing on like post-it notes Like small sticky notes And just stick them in here But my sticky note always falls out and it's not really sticky so I have to use like washi tapes so that's why I thought this was messy but I, if you look at it I really like how all the pieces look like the expressions are the fun part to draw and we have more of that colors more of my OC the boss this is just me laughing and then here we have a spirit I did with Yulos while I did like a speed paint I think more of my OCs more of my OCs that I was just a colorful video but I never got to do it so now there's just that more of my OCs and prepare for more OCs because that's what I do and yes usually I don't leave the blank paper blank but I don't like it being going to the other side of the paper so I just put another paper over or like a like a like a reused cardboard or like from old can or like not can like paper from like candy wrappers and then stick over art that way I didn't waste the pages but I haven't done that just this is like I took so long in this book I'm probably gonna do that later more time so gonna um I'm supposed to be a spread for Halloween so that's why there's like a lot of candy on my favorite candy so yeah yeah like my sister bought like this bunch of candies and gave all of us and it was so yummy and just ate like a lot of it I think I have a picture of that too. And okay, this is just me enjoying candy on Halloween. It was like really fun Halloween. Oh, okay, this is like another page. This is when it was Revolve's birthday. He's from MASH, so this is the fan art. Supposing I was gonna draw here too, but I like how it is turned out. He looked really cute. Uh, I'm gonna scheme through this. I'm happy with that, but I also do a happy spread, but I also scheme. I don't use my sketchbook back in front. I randomly just take off it and draw however I like. It's like I don't like I like, I think so you to do it in order. I didn't do got over, but I wrote it down. This was what I initially wanted to do, but I never did it. But I did draw this instead on um Halloween. On oh, not Halloween, it's like the ring part over. And I just drew this. And I really, really, really love how it turned out. It was just me messing around and doing some music for me. It was so fun. Also, why I did it initially was because I was trying to come with this like art of Sukuna behind that. It didn't look so good, so I just drew my OC and put it over with proper paper. And we have this. My dad gave me this sticker. It's so cool. So um, that. What else? Oh, okay. This is like me trying to get back after like I don't know weeks of not drawing for some reason. I don't remember how. I remember I had like. I didn't study hands for like a long time, so I just did like random sketches of hands. At this point, I felt like my I was living on one brain cell in this page, but it looks really, really it's just me using pen 
like no pencil just sketching just want to keep drawing this is really 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 fun um i don't know what i was thinking but this one's not really cute though oh i finished my ink okay i, I was like upset <laughs> Oh, 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 no, I finished my ink because of this page, because I was using it so much. I think that's my problem. I used too much ink. I need more ink. Oh, okay, so, like, this is, like, really, 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 really fun page. I want to, like, put it up to you all. Let's see. Like, okay, this is, like, so cute. This is my OC. Another one my OC. Then we have this. And then we have another one my OC right here. The expressions here were so fun. I love those chaotic look of, like, I don't know how to say it, like, I'm gonna zoom in for a Like, expressions are like the funnest thing to draw, I swear. It's like, it's been like so fun. And I just like drawing my OCG random expressions that they will never make, but it's like so fun. He looked like he's really tired. Okay, that's the art down here, and I hate it. So that's why I covered it. Oh my god, I draw. Oh, and then I have all these wrappers, which like I said, usually I put them here and then I put an art over. And more and more and more candy wrappers and stuff. So we're gonna skip this page. Oh. Okay, more studies, because I wanted to do studies, but I don't know why I did it properly. I was going back and forth with like two to three sketchbooks. That's why they were like, they were like really, um, forever to do it and at some point I got sick oh yeah randomly because I did that more head studies feet studies sudoku but making them into hearts had fun but I remember I didn't draw much so I wasn't trying to draw more candy wrappers because I just stuck them in after eating them we'll see I tried drawing the Kamen Rider character um I forgot his name did it and from Kamen Rider W I'm just playing this like I expect someone to point out, <laughs> but it didn't work out. Rains from Mash, and then we have my OCs, and kind of like Wiffles and OCs. Oh, this is the fun part. Okay, it's more like sketches, more ideas. And okay, this is about that's like just random doodles afterwards. Through my little brother playing guitar, guitar, I'm um, playing ukulele. And then, this, um, and that's about it, that's just like a couple of papers which I was supposed to like finish drawing, but I did not. So yeah, and then we have, I don't know why this book is like, it's not even coming out which is good because I guess I stood it really um, like tightly on the book, that's why it didn't come out. You can see this is the cardboard I used. To make the sketchbook and then I just lay it over paper like a black sticker thing that my mom gave me. Oh my god, I hope you so saw all of that. Anyway, this is like a spread of like bread and stuff. This is fun. This is actually a keychain from a family of kill. I don't know, I got it when I was a kid, so I just stuck it in there because it was broken. And that's literally the end of the sketchbook tour. Oh my god, that felt like an hour and I can't get over the fact that I still have a couple more pages left to do and I'm probably gonna use it back and forth. But I wanna make oh, I wanna make sketchbook for 2024. So for now, yeah, thanks so much for watching this video and bye. Thanks for watching the video.